G'day folks. Would you believe it? I've come yabbying again. <laughs> I love it. I love yabbying. There's nothing better than pulling up the nets and not knowing whether there's going to be a few yabbies in there or not. I am on a bit of a quest at the moment to try and find some larger yabbies. I've really struggled this spring. I've caught a lot of small yabbies. I've found dams with small yabbies. I've found some creeks with small yabbies. i found a couple of dams with small to medium yabbies, but that's it. I haven't been able to find any big ones. The problem that I've got is that my regular reliable dams that produce big yabbies each year, they're all either dry or very close to it. So I can't go there. So I've got to try different areas. Today I'm trying two different places again. I've got two nets in here where I've parked my car in the shade. And I've got one net in another spot about five kilometres away. I'm just trying new places and trying new things. Because I am determined to find bigger yabbies. And this is how you find good fishing. Whether it's cray fishing, yabbying, fishing, it doesn't matter. The best way to discover new places is to go and try. Try new places, try new things, enjoy the journey. Don't just enjoy the catch at the end. Enjoy the journey. A lot of people go onto Facebook and they go onto my YouTube comments and Facebook and say, where's a good creek, where's a good creek for this? I see it splattered all across everybody else's YouTube videos as well and also on Facebook. The problem with that is a lot of people don't want to tell you, therefore, I'll tell you a, a bad spot. I'll send you in the wrong direction because I don't want to share their spots. The best and most secure way to find the good spots is to move around and keep trying. Not only is it the best way, but it will also make you a better fisherman or a better cray fisherman or yabbier or whatever you want to call it because you will have a better level or a better sense of accomplishment having done all the hard yards yourself. You will know then how to find the abbeys rather than having to ask somebody as it's all about being independent not dependent not dependent on other people to help you out so go out have a look around waste some time if you have to on crap spots i've done plenty of that myself lately <laughs> and who knows i might even do it again today but there's only one way to find out but i tell you what folks 36 degrees today it's already 30 degrees and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning it's going to be a hot one but i'm going to make it a fun one <laughs> Now this spot has got yabbies written all over it. I've got my net ready. I've got my bait. Have a look at that. That is some. That is the kidney of the last person that upset me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, folks. That's actually something that was given to me from Ducky Donald at Ducky's Butchery this morning. I went in and said, "What's the best yabby bait you've got?" And he gave me a few hearts and livers and whatnot. And I think that's a kidney, actually. Ducky Donald. He's got magnificent meat. Here's a big shout out for Ducky Donald at Murdoch Road, Murdoch Road Butchery in Wangaratta. And the skewer Ducky is a really nice guy. Yep, that is deep enough. You little ripper. I'm really looking forward to check this net. I've had a really bad run lately. I've just been to three or four of my favourite dams that I've had luck in over the years, and they're all dry or very close to it. No idea how deep this is going to be. First time I've ever been here. That is perfect. I actually like it when that cork just sits under the water. That means it's in sort of 40 or 50 centimetres. I suppose that a guess. And that is uh, absolutely perfect. I'm not sure what this meat is. It's got a fair bit of fat on it and a bit of meat. Just some kind of off-cut that Ducky gave me. You're yeah, a bloody legend, Ducky. Oh, yeah, beauty. Beautiful spot to go yabbing. Rightio, now I'll give these nets about an hour and then I'll check them. I've got three nets spread out in two different places. Two here and one at another place. I haven't yabbied at either of these spots, but I'm forced to try new places because my normal dams are dry. This is new. The quest for the big yabby continues. I've been struggling to get big yabbies this year, but I am sure that I will find them eventually. Rightio, folks, it's time to check net number one. I put these in. I was going to give them about an hour. That was five hours ago. <laughs> uh, look, it's been 36 degrees today. It's been scorching hot. And I thought, no, nah, it's just too hot to hang around. So I've gone home. Plus, I had a heap of stuff to do. So I've gone home, spent the afternoon being busy and doing stuff. I've come back five hours later to check my nets. This could be... Uh, I could have... 20 great big ones or I could have absolutely none and that's how you find waterways because if there's none I won't come back here again <laughs> I 
Yep, there's none. Not a single yabby. Let's see if I've got any more in this net than I had in the last net. There only needs to be one to be more. <laughs> I've got one. I have actually got, oh look, I've got, I've got, they're actually quite good size yabbies. They're not big, they're not huge, but they are certainly big enough. I'll put him back in there. One, two, three, four. The other net had none, this one's got four. All is not lost. I think I need to leave my nets in here overnight at some stage. Awesome. That's a start. It's not a lot, but it's not too bad. I'm reasonably happy. <laughs> Rightio, four in one net. That's actually my best effort so far with these new open top lift nets. It's a start. Gee, I've been struggling to get a few yabbies lately. <laughs> Rightio, net number three, the final net. Still a good hour, hour and a half till sunset. I was gonna wait till dark, but I've got to work early tomorrow morning, so. I've had to come over here and get it a bit earlier than I'd like. I haven't seen any. Wow. That huge, great big bit of kidney has done me no good. So, three nets, two different places. I think this place looks good, but probably isn't for yabbies. The other spot has a lot of potential. I would call this a semi-successful yabby recon mission. I'm not in a hurry to try this spot again, although it just looks too good for there not to be yabbies. Perhaps it's a bit early, perhaps it's a bad bait, I don't know. I want to try it again because it looks good. The other spot I'll definitely be trying again, but I think it's going to be a good spot to leave the nets in overnight. So, my tally from the three nets is four yabbies. Not monsters, but uh, not too bad a size either. Well, three of them are. One of them's a bit small. Out of the four yabbies out of three nets. Not completely disappointing. Semi-successful. I call this a semi-successful yabby recon mission. 